Hello, I'm Eric Gerleaf, and on behalf of Kimco USA, would like to welcome you to this DVD series of ATV safety and training courses for the full line of Kimco ATVs. Before we get to the specifics of the different models offered by Kimco, let's review general ATV safety. Always wear a helmet approved by the Department of Transportation and other protective gear, including, but not limited to, gloves, sturdy over the ankle boots, long pants, and a long sleeve shirt or jacket. Never ever ride on public roads. ATVs are not designed for pavement and another vehicle can kill you. Never ride under the influence of alcohol or other drugs. Never carry a passenger on a single rider vehicle. Purchase an ATV that is right for your child's age. Category Y6 Plus is for children ages six and up. Category Y10 Plus is for children ages 10 and up. Category Y12 Plus is for children ages 12 and up. Category T is for teens age 14 and up. Category G and S are for adults ages 16 and up. Any riders under the age of 16 must be supervised by an adult. ATVs are not toys. Ride only on designated trails at safe speeds. Take an ATV rider safety course before your purchase and learn how to safely operate and ride the ATV you purchased from the maker or their dealership. These are the very basic safety rules, regardless of which brand or model you choose to ride on. Please follow them strictly to ensure a safe and enjoyable riding experience on your ATV. Today, we will be covering the Kimco Mongoose 70S All-Terrain Vehicle, Kimco's smallest youth ATV. This ATV is category Y6 Plus compliant, meaning it was designed for children at least six years old or older to operate safely under the supervision of an adult. While this ATV is designed for young riders, it is not a toy, and Kimco strongly urges each parent or legal guardian to first have all intended riders of the ATV attend a hands-on training course before the purchase. The purpose is to have experienced, certified instructors assess the young rider's strength and athletic abilities, motor skills, and judgment to operate a motorized vehicle before letting them attempt to operate an ATV. Second, the trainers will establish a solid and safe set of riding habits from the very beginning. A rider cannot effectively operate his vehicle without knowing its controls, so let us review them now. The Mongoose 70S's controls are located at different areas of the machine, the left and right handlebar grip areas and the central section of the machine above and around the gas tank. The left handlebar contains the rear brake lever and parking brake pin, headlight on low high beam selector, engine start button, and engine kill switch. The right handlebar contains the front brake lever, thumb throttle lever, throttle adjustment screw, and remote engine stop switch. The central area contains the ignition switch. There is also a manual kickstart lever at the left side engine case. Knowing how to stop is the most important thing to know when riding an ATV, so we'll start off with the brakes. The Mongoose 70S is equipped with cable operated drum brakes on each front wheel and a single hydraulic disc brake acting on their solid rear axle, supplying stopping power to both rear wheels. The front brakes are controlled by squeezing the right side brake lever while the rear brake is actuated using the left side brake lever. The Mongoose 70S's parking brake is set by squeezing and holding the rear brake lever, then pushing in the parking brake pin. Release the rear brake lever with the pin to press and the pin will hold the lever in the locked position. To release the parking brake, squeeze the rear brake lever and the pin will pop up, allowing the rear brake lever to function normally. We will now move on to the throttle. The Mongoose 70S has a standard thumb lever type throttle mounted on the right side handlebar. It is controlled by the rider pressing it with the right thumb. No pressure on the lever allows the engine to idle, while increasing pressure on the lever will increase engine speed to its maximum RPM, which is controlled by the throttle stop screw. The throttle stop screw is adjustable and is set from the factory to work with mechanical restriction components inside the CVT limiting speed to 10 miles per hour. The throttle stop screw can be adjusted inward to further slow the ATV for inexperienced riders, but should not be adjusted out past the factory setting of 9 millimeters in either restricted or unrestricted condition. Let's continue with the Mongoose 70S ignition switch. It requires a key to operate and energizes all electrical circuits of the ATV when switched on. The key cannot be removed in the on position, so it won't come loose or fall out while riding. Likewise, it will also shut down all the circuits when switched off. 
always turn off the ignition when the ATV is not running. Failure to do so can drain the battery to a level the ATV may not be able to start. With the ignition switch in the on position, the engine can be started. This is done by pressing the engine start button, which will energize the engine starter motor turning over the engine. You never want to press this button when the engine is already running, as it can damage the starter motor gears, which can lead to more serious problems. The Mongoose 70S is equipped with an engine kill switch that will shut off the motor when it is set to the off position. It is intended as a safety or emergency shutoff and should normally be left in the run position. The engine kill switch does not de-energize all the ATV's electrical systems. If it is used to shut down the engine, the ignition switch should be turned off to avoid draining the battery. The Mongoose 70S has a functional headlight. The headlight selector switch is used to turn it on and change the headlight between low and high beam. When in high beam, the high beam indicator light will illuminate. The remote engine stop switch includes a tethered lead that must be installed in the switch for the engine to run. The tethered lead is a safety for the supervising adult. By pulling on the tether, the engine of the Mongoose 70 can be shut off. Your ATV won't get far without fuel, so you will need to know about the fuel valve located on the bottom left side of the fuel tank. The fuel valve controls the flow of fuel to the carburetor. It has three positions, off, on, and reserve. The off position prevents fuel flow to the carburetor. The fuel valve should be in the off position whenever the ATV is not running. The on position allows fuel flow to the carburetor and is the normal position of the valve when running the engine. The reserve position is used when the ATV runs out of fuel in the on position. Use this fuel to get to a fuel source to refill the tank. Once the tank is refilled, switch the fuel valve back to on or you will not have a safety fuel reserve if you run out of fuel again. In the event you can't get your ATV started with the electric starter, the Mongoose 70S is equipped with a kickstart lever to manually crank the engine over for starting. Before you take the ATV out on the trail, you need to be sure it is in good operating condition. A mechanical failure on the trail can ruin your day at best, cause damage to the ATV, or create a safety hazard at worst. Your user manual provides detailed information on how to check the various components of the Mongoose 70S but we will now summarize what to check before every ride. We will again start with the brakes. Check the operation and condition of the front brake drums and free play of the cables. Check the brake fluid level for the rear brake. Check the rear brake line for any signs of damage or fluid leakage. You will need fuel to go anywhere, so always check the fuel level before heading out on your ATV. Forgetting to check can leave you and the ATV stranded in a remote area. Engine and transmission oil is the lifeblood of your engine. Check both engine and transmission oil levels and look for signs of leaking. Aside from stranding you, low oil levels can cause engine and transmission damage. The drive chain takes a lot of stress as it transfers the engine's power to the rear wheels. Check the drive chain for proper slack and inspect the sprocket condition. Improper chain slack or worn sprockets can cause the chain to come off the sprockets or break. Your throttle is always an important assembly to check as a frayed cable can break unexpectedly. A broken throttle cable will strand you and a sticking throttle can cause the rider to lose control and crash. Check for smooth throttle operation and return, proper cable free play and overall condition. Your wheels and tires connect the ATV and you to the terrain. Check both for wear and damage and check your tire pressure for proper inflation. A flat tire on the trail is never fun, and overinflated tires adversely affect handling. We'll move on to the little things. Check all fittings and fasteners for tightness. Depending on the fastener, losing one on the trail can result in a minor inconvenience, a breakdown, or safety issue. Also, check your switches for proper function. Operate them all before you ride and make sure they do what they are supposed to do. Finally, Check your lights for proper function. While this isn't as critical in an off-road setting as if you are riding an on-road vehicle, you will be glad they work if you are caught out on the trail at dusk or after dark. Your Mongoose 70S is now ready to ride. We will now cover how to properly mount your ATV. From the left side of the ATV, grab the handlebar's left grip with your left hand. Apply the brake. Put your left foot on the left footrest. Lean over the ATV to grab the right handlebar grip with your right hand, then swing your right leg over the seat. Place your right foot on the right side footrest. Find a comfortable seating position. Always keep your feet planted on the footrests. We are now ready to start up the Mongoose 70S and get riding. Here's how to do it. Select a level surface and lock the parking brake before starting the engine. Turn the fuel valve to on, 
Then insert the key into the ignition switch and rotate it to the on position. Switch the engine kill switch to run if it is not already in this position. Install the tethered lead into the remote engine stop switch if it's not already in place. With the throttle closed, press the starter button. Release the button as soon as the engine starts. If the engine doesn't start within 5 seconds, release the starter button and wait at least 10 seconds before pressing it again. Do not press the starter button for longer than 5 seconds. Once started, let the engine warm up until it idles smoothly and takes small amounts of throttle without hesitation. If for some reason the electric starter is not working properly, the Mongoose 70S can be started without it. To start the engine without the electric starter, follow the same steps we just went over, but instead of pressing the starter button, fold out the kick start lever pedal and operate the kick start lever with a rapid continuous downward kick motion. Keep your foot on the pedal to prevent the kick start lever from snapping back freely against the pedal stop. Engine case damage could occur if this is allowed to happen. Dismounting the ATV is basically the reverse of mounting it, with a couple of key differences. Once the ATV comes to a stop, turn the ignition switch to off and engage the parking brake. Stand and swing your right leg over the seat to the left side of the vehicle, stepping on the ground. Release the bars and remove your left foot from the footrest. Along with always wearing proper protective gear when you ride and doing your pre-ride check, scheduled maintenance should be part of your ATV riding routine. A properly maintained ATV is more reliable and safer to operate. Your user manual is an important resource detailing all of the topics we just covered and more. Always keep it in a safe place on the vehicle at all times. That being said, please review and follow the Mongoose 70S maintenance schedule in your user manual by taking it to an authorized Kimco dealer to ensure years of safe, trouble-free riding from your ATV. This is Eric Gurleev on behalf of Kimco USA, wishing you all a fun, memorable, and safe ride.